What's a great technique for fishing underwater stumps? Whoa! That's a beauty. Good morning guys and girls. April 9, April 9th already. A little bit of a windy day, Proverbs 29, 11. Foolish people lose their tempers. <laughs> well, you know what category you're in if you lose your temper. Foolish people lose their tempers, but wise people control theirs. Wise people control their tempers. Submerged stumps are pretty much always a great place to find a bass. The very best stumps will be the ones that you can just barely see. Those stumps that are down there under the water that you can just, with good Jimmy Houston polarized glasses, you can just barely see them. Those are gonna be the very best ones. The reason that they're a little bit deeper and mostly they're gonna get overlooked by other fishermen. Generally, the best technique is to bump the stump with a spinnerbait. That's right. I like to use a Jimmy Houston Legend spinnerbait because they're almost impossible to hang up. You want to bump that stump. You want to bring that spinnerbait by and get it down just right where you can bump the stump. Now, if the water is relatively clear, you can see that stump and it's pretty easy to bump it and not get your bait hung up. Now, you don't want to hit that stump, let your bait lay over and get hung up. So when you bump the stump, straighten your up just a little bit by raising your rod tip, increasing your reel speed, Straighten it back up, let it hit that stump and deflect a little bit. A lot of times that's when you get a bite. If the water's muddy, you might want to put on a white blade. Put on a white blade or a white, solid white spinnerbait uh, with a white skirt so you can see it a little bit better down in that muddy water. You might just barely see the stump, but you've got to be able to see the stump and the spinnerbait to be able to bump that stump and, uh, and be able to catch fish on it. Depth control and direction are finesse techniques that need to be learned. So you need to learn how to do this. That's a finesse technique that you can bump that stump and your bait tries to lay over your spinner bait and you'll straighten it back up so it doesn't get hung up. God says it's wise to have another kind of depth control. It's called self-control. The old trick of counting to 10 before you speak or you react is still as good as gold. Sometimes some of us might need to count to 20 or 30, I don't know. If we'll just pause for a moment when we're offended or when we get upset, somebody says something ugly to us, somebody insults us, we'll give God's Spirit the chance to take control so that we stay calm and cool. What allows us to stay calm and school, cool? God's Holy Spirit that He's put down inside us. This is what allows us to take about any kind of insult or bad thing or things. And you know, sometimes people say or do things that just make your blood boil. I mean, just want to make your blood boil. And you just, when the instant they say them, you just feel it willing up inside of you and you just go. But if you could just pause for a little bit and allow God's Spirit that's inside of you, and He's given you that Holy Spirit. <laughs> My camera person, who is also the lady I'm married to, I will not give her the credentials of calling out her name right now. My lady cameraman <laughs> is shaking her head and really giving me the, the evil eye what I'm talking about. Keeping your temper. Don't lose control. You need to stay calm and cool like Jimmy stays calm and cool. That's exactly right. Jimmy has to count way past 20. I promise you that sometimes. Sometimes she does and says things that just drives me crazy. <laughs> but I am so calm and cool. I count to 10. I let God's Holy Spirit take control. <laughs> I've totally lost control of this morning's devotion. <laughs> I just might just hand her the book and let her read today's devotion to you and let me make faces at her uh, because she doesn't stay calm and cool all the time either. By the way, guys and girls, she doesn't talk to me as sweetly as she talks to those deer. I got to tell you that. <laughs> Give God's Spirit the chance to take control so you can stay calm and cool. And the reason is, let's go back to what it says to begin with. Foolish people lose their tempers. You want to be counted a fool? That's exactly what happens. How many times have you stood behind somebody at the, at the, the Burger King or the McDonald's or the Brahms and heard somebody get really mad because their order was bad? And it just made a fool of themselves. I've seen people at the airport just throw a hissy fit because their baggage didn't show up or their plane ticket wasn't right. 
or maybe they charged them extra when they shouldn't have, on and on and on. Just go crazy over a lady that's standing behind the counter, really had nothing to do with it, can't do anything about it. They just, just go, go crazy over that. And what people that are around them, looking to, they're looking at you as a fool when you do that. So if you're that person that does that, that's exactly what you're becoming, a foolish person. What happens when you control your temper? <laughs> like Jimmy does? You're wise. You're wise. They think you're a wise man. A wise man. Yeah, that's right. Guys and girls, I've lost total control of this, and so let's just go to the let's just go to our tip. Here's a good tip too, by the way. Buy good fishing line. The cheap stuff is a heartache waiting to happen. Now I use a fishing line, I use high seas grand slam fishing line on most of my casting reels. On spinning reels, I use high seed braid. Now I don't use hundred percent fluorocarbon that often for a leader. I'll use fluorocarbon coated. It's less expensive. You can pay a lot of money for 100% fluorocarbon. And High Seas makes excellent, excellent 100% fluorocarbon line if you want to use it. But the fluorocarbon coated is really easier to fish with. It's coated over a palomar or copolymer line, which is, uh, you know, exactly what High Seas Grand Slam is, is a copolymer line. It's a really strong, tough, manageable fishing line that's got uh, fluorocarbon coated on top of it when you buy the fluorocarbon coated line. It's only about 10 bucks a spool. But don't buy the cheap stuff. You can go out and buy line for a buck a spool. I am guarantee you, like it says, it's a heartache waiting to happen. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. Count to 10 or 20 or 30. Don't lose your temper. Be a wise man, not a fool. But remember, I love you. <laughs>